going on beautiful people welcome back to the vlog so I am back home from um, eyelash appointment so I got extensions for the first time in years the last time I got eyelash extensions was probably in 2016 or 2017 I can't remember but I went to one of those um, you know Asian salons to get them done and they were terrible my eyelashes fell out like it was just a disaster and I lost my eyelashes that's why I didn't I was like turned off from doing eyelash extensions until this year I'm like you know I'm gonna try it again I'm gonna try somewhere else I wanted it to be like dramatic but a whiskey look but with a cat eye because I have what is almost like a circular um, eyelid so they tend to droop this way and I wanted a lifted look like I usually do with my makeup. I have decided not to put the name of the place that I went to in Toronto because um, I'm not going to recommend it. Mixed feelings. But the service and environment was a no for me. I'm trying to call my Uber. <sighs> yeah, hold on. Because next we got to go to um, our sugaring appointment. You know, we got to get that kitty cat all the way clean. <laughs> with the surging gas prices... The Uber prices have been ridiculous, like absolutely bonkers. So real quick, giving you guys a rundown of my outfit that I changed into. So I'm just wearing this um, dress with my panda dunks and it's the back out. Okay, it's a little bit chilly, but not really chilly outside. So we're going to give them a little bit of skin. So I got my bag here. I was wearing the white tail for earlier. And I didn't feel like changing my bag to the black one. So we're going to keep this. And then we are about to head out. Saturday, um, eyelashes done, sugar wax done. Now I'm heading to my nail appointment, and I think I decided what I want to do with my nails. I think I want to do a colorful French, and I'm gonna do them longer. Like we're going on vacation, so we need longer nails. Okay, we're going dramatic. Okay, forget all that simplicity. We want rah rah shit. You feel me? We want that extra ish. So that's what we are about to do. And then later on, um, we're going to head to um, Yorkdale Mall to pick up some like last minute stuff. Um, I have a package I need to pick up. I ordered some stuff from Pretty Little Thing. And this is my second time in a row having an issue with my Pretty Little Thing order. The last time, um, there were items missing from my package. And I didn't get a refund for because... I don't know what's going on with their customer service like nobody just didn't respond to me but I made up for it because when I went to their um, spring event in Toronto I just took up, took up um, a couple of pieces you know I took home a lot of stuff so you know I got um, reparations for my missing items but this time um, I ordered my clothes on time and trust me for me trust that that is that is something serious because usually I take the very last minute like the very last chance of getting it the day before my trip that's how i usually order 
right and this time i'm like no chef you're gonna order on time got a bunch of different cute pieces you know i spent over like 360 something dollars and it was supposed to come on thursday and the tracking hasn't been updated since the day it was shipped so now there's no update on my package there's no nothing so you know like it's a good thing that i might have a couple stuff that i had from previous vacations that i didn't wear or you know i can mix and match and make it work because i'm gonna make it work regardless but i'm just upset because I had a whole vision with these outfits that I picked out, the color coordination and all that, and it's just frustrating, but we're gonna keep it pushing. If nothing else, if it comes later on, or I get my refund, I prefer a refund at this point because I just, I can't bother. Yeah, we're about to head to the appointment. I'm late for this appointment. <laughs> Simba is just like, yeah, girl. Simba didn't even say nothing. He, he's just quiet right now, he's just driving. But that's okay. No, 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 no. You were quiet. You were right. you were yeah, silent. You were silent. That's okay, baby. Why I was silent? Hey, my nails. Okay. Oh, you are going up to eat. You're the, you're, the, you're the driver, exactly. So I got that's fine. Nothing to do with this. This concerns me not. Okay, that's fine. That's fine too. Let's head to your appointment. The nails are done. Yes. And then we want to head to the mall. I'm gonna see what I can get. Okay, I've been eyeing these sandals. Um, for the longest time, I'm gonna see if they have them. The Chanel sandals. I keep talking myself out of buying because I'm like, I don't need it. You know, yada yada yada. But I'm like, girl, I want it now. So we're gonna see if if it's meant to be, it will be at the Chanel store at Yorkdale. If it's meant to be. Let's go shopping. Also, I got some stuff to return for Sephora and Zara. <laughs> Can you, Simba? Can you hold my bag for me, please? I have a lot of bags. Yeah, I'm wearing Crocs. Crocs today, cause we like to feel comfortable. Calm flex, so I pull the Crocs out. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Nicki Minaj. back home sweaty as hell like i need to wash my face so they say i'm not supposed to wash my face for the first 24 hours after individuals so my 24 hours are up well it's been up but i just wanted to give it a couple more hours so i've been using a wet cloth with soap and just like wiping my face and all of that so now i feel gunky i did a little bit of today i didn't do makeup i just did um I use my Fenty Ease Drop, so this is the skin tint. Yes, I use that and I mix it with the Huda Beauty skin tint because the Huda, the Huda version, the skin tint is called Glowish and it really does give like 
a nice dewy look and i absolutely love that i gotta wash my hair tomorrow's our hair appointment y'all i'm getting braids i'm getting falani braids done my type of vacation here i realize i like half up half down because my jamaica trip the last two times i went to jamaica i did half up half down for this trip we want to do jet skiing we want to zip line i'm not sure about the zip line yet because in saint martin um they have the steepest zip lining in the world i think and i'm not so sure about that i've done zip lining in mexico and that was terrifying because if we were zip lining through the freaking jungle simba is definitely going to do it, but i don't know if i'm going to do it but i'm definitely doing the jet ski and all that i want to do activities activities right so braids it is for me and i'm thinking not just any braids i don't want to just do single braids i want to do the cornrows in the front and the not less in the back and i want it long and i want it too long where i have to be mindful like oh girl it's about to get you know stuck somewhere or i gotta move all the time but i want it to be butt length so we went to the chanel store so this is my first time actually going into a chanel store because i'm gonna be real with y'all i do my thing you know I, I i work hard to make my money and all of that and i typically go to brands that i call are within my tax bracket you know what i'm saying i shop within my tax bracket if i can't buy it twice three times four times i don't buy it if i can't afford to buy it even four times you feel me so i see chanel ain't in my range yet until you know like i'm really really up there i'm gonna leave chanel alone but chanel had these chanel i've seen these chanel sandals i think two years ago um i don't know what are they called there are these slides um i thought i think it's called chanel mules but there's different variation of those type of sandals so i saw i think earlier in the year i saw someone but she was in the states um do an unboxing thingamajig on tiktok and i'm like girl i need a sandal but I didn't write down the name or nothing like that. I just knew I wanted it. But it was still winter time in Toronto. So I wasn't thinking about it. Because that's how I am. Unless it's the season. that Whatever. So I'm like, okay. It's not on the website. I see a black kind of variation similar to it on the website. But I must say, okay, we're going to the Chanel store. And they do their, their collections in season. So if it's out of season, don't expect it to be there. It's, you know, not, not just some old things. Like stores like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and um, even, what did I say? Dior, Louis Vuitton, Gucci. Those stores, it could have been items that came out how long ago. Louis Vuitton is going to have the same slides. Gucci is going to have the same platform slides. Like, all of that like they're gonna have it because they're popular items that people love you know what i'm saying like oh it's not in season so i'm like okay i guess i'm not getting the set the slides because apparently they make very little of them or it's not in that store i called another store they didn't have it so i gave up i'm like you know what it's just not meant to be chanel is not for me so i'm gonna leave it alone went to do a couple of stores and then we went to you know we just brought we were browsing the other stores just looking for stuff because i really wanted like I, w I wanted a really nice designer type sandals so i went into fendi and guys like i had my one of my best experiences in you know one of those luxury stores ever like this guy that helped us in fendi he was and it's not like you know some face fake niceness type thing like I was kicking this with this guy like we were friends like we were kicking i wasn't even intention i wasn't even gonna really buy anything in there we were just like talking and yada 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 he was showing me all the stuff that they had in stock because he was like he was loving one of their new collection and all that and i'm like you're you really trying to sell me that bag but i'm not gonna buy that bag because i'm like i'm not buying that bag but the bag was real cute i'm still not gonna buy the bag so we were just like kicking in there and then before you know it he showed me this sandal that didn't even come out yet onto the stock floor and it was under um it was under a thousand dollars so i'm like let me see the let me see the sandals and lo and behold i'm like yeah i'm gonna have this sandal maybe i wasn't supposed to have that chanel sandal that was way more double the price for the fendi compared to the fendi so i'm like okay i'm gonna take the fendi because i really like it and then i'm like i don't have a fendi bag <laughs> so i'm like i'm gonna need i'm gonna need something to go with it so before you know it I'm getting a little, I'm getting, I'm getting ish from Fendi, y'all. I just dug up a bunch of stuff 
from um like previous vacations ago so i got these two dresses from Shein that i didn't wear on a previous vacation and it's just gonna have to work i got two shorts that's one shorts and then this other shorts that I got from Shein. And then I got my vacation hat, these sandals, these Simi London sandals that we're going to wear. And I also got um, this Jerashi package that I'm supposed to do a Tron haul for. So I'm going to see, I can't even remember what I picked out from them. So I'm going to open it and see what's in there. Maybe I could take something on vacation. And... And I realized that the type of girl I am, I like neutral colors that I could wear with majority of my clothing. So of course I had to get a neutral color that I know I could get the wear out of. Because if I'm going to buy something and I'm going to buy it for a lot of money, best believe I'm going to get the most wear out of it like i'm gonna wear it and wear it and wear it and wear it out it better transition or transcend throughout every single season for the next 20 years plus okay i will be wearing these sandals for 20 odd years okay <laughs> i will pass it down to my children all these bags you see okay they're, they're going to my children to my kids this is how it looks on my feet i got it in a size Eight, and then we got the bag. Okay, we are headed to our hair appointment. So I wash my hair, detangle, blow dry, all that good stuff. And I did put some castor oil on my edges, girl, because you know I don't want my edges to be spitting out and on the back. And I put some Mayel um, oil drop on the back left side of my head because sometimes I am prone to breakage on that side. So now we're gonna do a protective style, but you know you gotta make sure that your hair is all good. So I didn't put anything else in there because I know a lot of stylists are funny with the type of products they want to use in your hair, and that could like counteract with maybe like a. Uh, leave-in conditioner that you use so I just left my hair clean so I just hope um, it's a conditioning gel or whatever um, she uses to style my hair but yeah here I got about I got I got three packs of this old tray hair so it's the old tray 72 inches Yes, girl, 72 inches, 72 inches pre-stretched here in 1B. And we're gonna see how it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Bad low flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, y'all gas, no breaks, baby. Let them hoes sleep. Body on ten, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you y'all can see it good like oh my god look at the detail oh, look at the detail of the braids so, yes well, you don't want to go on camera huh? 
to Simba. Simba came and he waited on me patiently. Like I love that, babes. I love that. Love that. Love that. But yes. Today is uh, about about uh, well. I literally just bit the inside of my jaw eating this gum. That's because I'm not used to eating gum. So you won't tell you to take my gum from here. Because I'm sorry, I haven't. You haven't asked me for one, but you just took my gum in in the side. I haven't it. had gum That's in God. so God long. That's God. I to ask permission. Yeah. To oh. chew people gum. I no. bought the inside of my jaw. Was it worth it? No, no, I'm still gonna chew it, so I don't care. We're about to go get our COVID vaccine. I, not vaccine. <laughs> what did I say? COVID, <laughs> COVID test for travel. Not the guinea what the pig. Hell? Um, I really thought that. You didn't have to do COVID testing to travel anymore, but um, international travel to the U.S. I guess like if you're traveling going to the U.S., you have you still have to do antigen test even if you're vaccinated because some so, airlines they're still requiring the test. Oh, some some. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so it has to be an airline thing too, because coming to Canada, if you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to do a COVID test. So when I heard that news some time ago, I thought it was like a everybody thing, but mm. Mm -mm. So we did our COVID test Came back negative, of course um, Then I went to the mall to Get some last minute things. So I told you about the pretty little thing I was holding out hope today that somehow a miracle will happen. I was like watching every single delivery person, delivery truck pass through the neighborhood. And then I found out, finally saw a FedEx truck stop and deliver a package, but it wasn't that. It was just another package that I ordered that came in. So after giving up, I came to the mall. You know what? I'm gonna go. We're just like a bro, see what's in the mall. Then, um, we were walking past a store called Ardeen and they had this crochet set. I haven't shopped at Ardeen since I moved here. The first year I moved here, I call it the immigrant store because <laughs> I used to love that store when I just moved here. Like everything was cheap and just, you know, it got the job done. So I'm like, you know, I haven't been in Ardeen in years. Okay, I went in there, they had this brown crochet swim set and a brown cover up. And I'm like, Okay, I can make this work. So I got that at already and matter of fact, it wasn't even that cheap Well compared so it was like 60 something dollars for the three pieces So I got that and then I went into urban planet So I'm going into all these stores that you know, like haven't been in years. I'm like I'm finding gems like what went into um, urban planet. I found a shorts that I'm gonna probably wear to the airport um, It's like a jogger shorts and I also got what did I get? I got a crochet set, like a beach set. And it looks like it would be nice. It would look nice. I can dress it up. And yeah, that's it. Um, So we're going to head to Walmart to get some travel stuff. And I stopped at this um, little restaurant, corner restaurant. It's black owned. It's called Sam's Juices in Scarborough Town Center. And having patty and cocoa bread. The patty tastes fresh, right, to me? Mm -hmm. The patty fresh. The juice fresh. The juice fresh. I just mm. put a lemon seed. Mm. Well, yeah. Real lemon seed. <laughs> and I got the passion. Look, a passion fruit. Mm -hmm. And a little red thing that you see at the bottom is like actual chunks or whatever from the the fruit. I'm thinking. Or maybe they put it in a um, jelly version. It tastes so good. So, so good. So, last stop is Walmart, and then that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the night. What time is it? It is 1 1 13 a.m. Our flight is at 6 a.m., less than five hours. So, you know, we're not getting any sleep at all. No sleep. Because we have to leave in 
I'd say two, 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 three. We're, we should leave in like two hours and 15 minutes. Two hours and 15 minutes we have to leave the house by because we want to get there two hours before because it's an international flight. And um, even though it's an early morning flight, I know a couple of airlines do 6 a.m. flights from Pearson Airport. So we don't want to get there after the two hours. We want to get there before. I don't know what we do this to ourselves. We always say yes. If we're going to do early morning flights, because most of the time Caribbean flights are early morning. And I think I prefer early morning anyway because... It's less people as opposed to midday when there's a bunch of commercial flights and international flights all mixed up in one. So the airport is super busy when it comes like 8 o'clock and so forth. So I don't, I think the 6 o'clock flight is better. It's just no sleep. No sleep at all. And we do this to ourselves every single freaking time. So I'm about to finish packing. I haven't even started packing y'all. So I just put out all the stuff. Like I tried on each outfit together. So I don't overpack. And I don't carry things that I won't need. I just bring a little extra outfit here and there. But I don't want to overpack for this trip. I want to make sure everything is organized. That's what I typically don't do. I just throw in a bunch of stuff. And then I'm scrambling. So I made sure I... Put outfits together make sure I like them because I see see the outfits with my hair and if it looks good with my hair and without makeup that means it's gonna be on 10 with the makeup jewelry and the full works so that's what we're doing so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna put all my most expensive and valuable items in the carry-on and then everything else goes in the regular suitcase and then I have my makeup stuff over here that um, I'm gonna put in my makeup bag to take I'm not gonna take everything I'm just gonna take maybe two neutral palettes um, I'm gonna need all my bronzers and stuff I won't need any eyelashes for this trip but just in case I don't know you never know so yeah and then I've got all my primers I'm carrying all my concealers my powders all that good stuff <clears throat> why is I'm gonna bring eyelashes is because um, even this morning um, one of the eyelash one of the eyelash extensions fell out so I'm like okay I guess that's normal um, for it to fall out over time right because with washing your face and all that I try to be as gentle as possible so I'm gonna put all my stuff together and then leave for the airport because that's all that all the time that i have That is all that I have for you. My bags are packed. I just need to finish up and close them out. So I got my little hat there. And then my carry-on over here. As you guys can see, it's a little bit empty because, as I said, packing light. And that is all. I also changed my nose ring because um, we're going to be doing activities, right? And I don't want to lose my studs. So we're going with our Beyond Impress nose cuff. I think this is Paradise Leaf. Yes, Paradise Leaf in the nose, you know. It's been a while since I wore a nose ring. So it was a little difficult to get in. And my eyes started watering. Right now I sound stuffy because like I was legit crying to get the nose ring in. I don't know why it hurt so damn bad. Ugh, anyways, that is all that I have for you guys. I'll see y'all in the next vlog when we are on vacation. Mm.